hi guys i'm back here today say hi to cookie if you came here for you know good looks and fashion i mean of course no one's good looks but you if you came here for fashion this ain't it now today's video is going to be about the igbo landing mass suicide Hi guys, credits to Irony Loho for this story. She's the one who reported about it and brought it to my knowledge. Yeah, enjoy the video. And this happened in 1803. Igbo Landon is a, well, it's a place that's in Dunbar Creek and on St. Simmons Island, which is in Georgia. There was this, the Igbo people, they had a leader and he kept getting these visions he kept hearing like that you know that was going to be his people's salvation he started a slave revolt on a slave ship that was coming from nigeria going to the georgia coast so they rose up and killed all the you know the white people enslaving them on the boat and they took it over and the boat sailed to the georgia coast saw that there were more white people um you know there waiting for them so they knew that their faith their fate was to be enslaved for the rest of their lives now many of these people died on the boat from diseases many people were thrown overboard and fed to the sharks um you know you can just imagine and you you, you know we've learned about the conditions of these slave ships so many people didn't even make it you know what i mean so to go through all of that trauma and then to see what is to and to see that there will be more and far worse to come and they all got off and they held hands and they walked back into the water and everyone died not only do i want to tell you guys um stories that happen you know black history but i also want to make sure that we take something from it and that it leaves you thinking so i used to think I used to be that person who was always like blaming the victim and the person like they shouldn't have done that, um, they're selfish. I always thought it was such a selfish act. But this story puts a new perspective on it for me where they thought of it as their salvation. Like I never thought in people's minds that this was, I didn't think of it like this might be their only way and I'm not, you know, condoning it. but. We always looked down on it and our own people looked at it as a way to be free. And even though they always tell you, oh, you're gonna go to hell, you're gonna go to hell for it, but we don't actually know that. This is a whole new spin on it and it gives you really something to think about. It's like, is it are we really going to hell for it or is this really a way for our people to be free and it costs money to lose property because black people were considered property so it really makes you wonder about things that are in the bible yeah, and it makes you wonder like the fact that in the second book in the bible exodus where it's a story about moses when moses freed the slaves in egypt um and they were Hebrew slaves. It just makes you wonder, did they put that in there so that we wouldn't notice that there were other slaves still in the Bible? And it makes you think, what really happened? And I'll talk about, you know, the first book of the Bible, Genesis, about what happened in the Garden of Eden. I'll talk about that in a separate video, probably the next one, who knows. But I just wanted to leave that out there for you guys. There are a lot of things in the Bible that you come to question and you're just like, was this always written in here or was it changed? Why would they put that story there? Oh yeah, the slaves are getting freed. But then later on in the Bible, you read like the, the story of Job and he had slaves. Like they called them servants and all of that, but they still were technically slaves. They would say it's okay. And... I remember when I was in church, it was one Sunday we were listening to the sermon and my pastor, well, I don't know how it is in a Catholic church, I know they call it a priest, but in the Christian church they call it a pastor. 
um and he was talking about how um being gay and all of that um is not accepted in the bible that god made man and woman to be fruitful and multiply and it just seems so convenient that that was put in there specifically because why wouldn't god love us all for who we are you also look back in history and you go back to the the Sparta and Athens. You go back to that time and the Spartans, the warriors, the men stayed together and the women stayed together. And it was condoned that men were sleeping with men and women were sleeping with women. And then when they got married, they had to come together and women had to shave their heads and they had to turn the lights out, turn on a candle, because I guess that was a long time ago, you know, consummate the marriage. Just moving on. And it was just like, it makes you wonder like if we can have trauma that's passed down to us from our ancestors. Maybe you can't think that living that way, and they lived that way for many, many years. You don't think that that's not going to stay wired in some of our brains? I know a lot of people talk about like reincarnation, you know, having past lives, and maybe that is true, maybe it's not that our souls travel in different lifetimes. I mean, you can't think that that's not going to have no effect on us mentally since it's already been scientifically, scientifically proven that trauma can be passed down, which is the reason why a lot of us in the black community and the LGBTQ communities are, we struggle so much. Because of, you know, the Bible and other religions like it that talk about these things and how they're forbidden, it causes more hate on all of us, which is the reason why we need to be very sensitive to these people and their issues and everything they've went through. Those people back then who were gay, and it is accepted, it's in the history books, you can't think that what they went through isn't going to get passed down. Every thought we've had have pro has probably been thought before, and if we're being created and going through this person's body and we're, we're being made in them for nine months. We're going to pick up things from them. We can feel what they feel. And you can't just expect all of that to go away and act like it doesn't exist when it does. Which is why I just wanted to talk about this because this is like a serious thing that people don't really think about that this stuff happens and this is how people are we need to accept that but we don't want to live like that we want to live happy so the question i want to leave well i did leave you guys with a question but the question on the story about igbo landing it's up to you on your interpretation of suicide maybe you should reevaluate re that interpretation i'm not saying condone it i'm just saying that be more empathetic and sympathetic to the people who have done this in the past and I do pray for those families and I do want to just say that I'm very sorry for people's loss and almost loss and the people who have had thoughts about it. I will be praying and I do pray every day for all the issues and problems that people do have in this world whether I know you or not. That's all for today, guys. Be safe out there. God bless. Bye.